This week on The Wire, green homes and cheap loans, first home buyers target scheme, and banks help fire victims. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth, and welcome along to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So, our top story for this week, green homes and cheap loans. So Australians will soon be able to get a discounted home loan if they buy or build housing that meets high energy efficiency standards. The Clean Energy Finance Corporation is launching a green home loan program for borrowers who meet a minimum seven star energy rating with rock bottom interest rates available under two and a half percent. Bank Australia is the first lender to offer the scheme and will grant a 0.4 percentage point discount on its home loan rate. The energy rating will be assessed under the Nationwide Housing Energy Rating Scheme, which provides guidelines for sustainable design principles and construction techniques for a range of climate zones across Australia. The property sector accounts for almost a quarter of Australia's greenhouse gas emissions, and that's according to the Clean Energy Finance Corporation's investment team, Executive Director Richard Lovell. He says sustainable housing design and construction could improve energy and economic outcomes. Now, the Bank Australia Green, sorry, let me say that again. The Bank Australia Clean Energy Home Loan will fund up to $60 million, providing the interest rate discount to mortgages below $1.5 million. So look, some great news for the planet there with banks incentivizing energy efficiency, and I'm sure we'll see some other banks follow soon. But now for our next story. First home buyers target scheme. So the first 3,000 spots available in the new federal government first home buyer scheme have already been filled. Now, since the scheme began on the 1st of January, the Commonwealth Bank and National Australia Bank, which are the only two banks, uh, big banks to be a part of the scheme, have already filled their January quota. Now, they'll have to wait until February to accept the remaining 2,000 applications. And from February, another 5,000 applications can also be accepted by any of the other 25 lenders who are part of the scheme. Now, the Minister for Housing and Assistant Treasurer, Michael Sugar says the majority of applicants have been single buyers with a median income of just under $70,000 a year. Once applicants are successful, they have 10 days to get pre-approved finance from an applicable lender to purchase property and they must then go through settlement within three months. The National Housing Finance and Investment Corporation is releasing 10,000 first home loan deposit scheme guarantees this financial year, and another 10,000 places will be available from July 2020. So look, if you plan to take advantage of the scheme, you better act fast. And now for our final story of the week, banks help fire victims. So the big four banks have announced, uh, well, the big four banks, all of them have announced assistance packages for customers and communities impacted by the bushfires. So each bank has pledged at least a million dollars in bushfire donation packages. Westpac customers, who homes have been destroyed, will have their mortgages paid for an entire year. The bank will also offer customers interest-free loans to cover the gap between insurance payouts and rebuilding costs, while businesses will receive low interest loans. Westpac says it will not foreclose on any farming businesses in the affected areas for three years and will provide a $15,000 grant to businesses to refurbish damaged premises. The CBA has pledged at least $10 million in recovery grants, while NAB will provide $2,000 grants and has committed to not foreclose on existing loans for up to three years as well. NAB customers may be eligible to defer repaying their loans for up to three years also. And the Victorian government has announced land tax and stamp duty relief for people whose properties have been destroyed or damaged by bushfires as well. So some real great support there. Well guys, that's the top stories for this week. Now remember to like, comment, share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our next Just Ask Tim video series. And if you want to submit a question or there's a topic that you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. Action. Go get it, all right? See you later.